Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today I'm going to show you how to create a gorgeous piece of abstract art with just some pouring paint and a hairdryer. To start off with, I am using a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I do have it raised up on some painter's pyramids so that the paint can flow nicely off of it. And all of the paints I will be using in this video are Mixed Media Girl pouring paint. Now I love doing this with a black and white base. You could of course use one solid color for the base and you can use any colors you want. If you wanna do two or three colors, totally up to you. So I've started off with putting some of the black paint on half, dividing the canvas diagonally. And now I'm using a Remington hairdryer on completely cold air and on high. Now you could use a spatula for this step, but I found that using the hairdryer just makes it a lot quicker and a lot smoother. And it's easier to get a nice even base coat with this. It is really important that you get an even base coat so that when you get in there with your colors, the paint actually flows at the same rate across the paint on your background. So now that I've got the black on there, I'm going in with some white and doing essentially the same thing. I don't go directly up to the black when I pour my white on here. I leave a little bit of space in between them. Uh, the goal is definitely not to blend them at this point at all. I just want to have uh, the nice base coat with a stark black and white on there. So same thing, I put a decent amount on and then I go in there with the Remington hairdryer on cold air and on high air. I don't use heat for this at all if possible because heat can actually dry the paint as you go and it won't flow quite as well. So if you can find a hairdryer that has a completely cold setting such as this one and that will just make your job a lot easier. <laughs> Now take care on this step if you are doing two different colors for your base coat, not to start blending them until you are ready. So once I got that white spread around, I went in there with the actual colors that I wanted to use for the piece. My favorite is to just use three colors, but you can use one or two, um, or you can use really as many as you want. There's no rules about it. So I started off with some gold and then went in with some cosmic teal. These are both metallics, which will help to create some really cool reactions and hopefully we'll get some gorgeous cells with those. Uh, you can add silicone in if you'd like, I prefer not to. And then lastly, I used some electric purple, which is not a metallic color, but I think will go very nicely with these other two colors. And those are the three colors I will be using. Now I am going in again with the hairdryer on high air and no heat. And at this point, instead of just blowing it around, I'm going in a little bit more of a pattern kind of going back and forth and blowing the paint into both the white and the black. You can blow it really out as much as you want, but uh, try not to overdo it because you don't want the colors to blend too much. You want them to stay nice and bright and kind of a little more separated if possible. The more you go over the paint, the more blended it will become, but it is totally up to you. You can spread it out as much or as little as you want. Another thing that you can do, uh, because the, the hairdryer can be a little bit difficult to control, if you want to blow out a specific spot, you can use a straw, you can use something like the world's smallest leaf blower or something like that to get a little more pinpointed on where you want to blow it out. So here's how it looks wet. It's gorgeous, nice, vibrant. Uh, I love the... Uh, difference in how the colors look on white versus black. It's just a beautiful piece of art. And then here is how it looks dry. So this is hanging up on my wall. Uh, you can see that shimmer and sparkle of those metallic paints. You can see the cells that popped up in this as it was drying and just a really simple, gorgeous project. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time.